Hey everybody, welcome back to Tommy G Workshop. Today I'm gonna to go over the Lincoln Electric welder. This is the PowerMig 210MP. Uh, it will do stick welding, it will do MIG welding, it will do flux core welding, and it will do TIG welding. When you purchase this Lincoln PowerMig 210, it will come with obviously the welder. It comes with two power cords. It'll come with a 110 power cord and it will come with a 220 power cord. Now today I'm only going to be trying this machine out on 110. Some other things that, that this comes with when you purchase it are a flux core spool of wire and a MIG spool of wire. It comes with the MIG gun. It comes with a ground clamp, a stinger for stick welding, and I've already mentioned the second plug. Now, <clears throat> this machine comes with everything, or just about everything, to run stick or MIG welding. Things that you need to purchase for MIG welding that don't come with the machine is the Argon CO Mix bottle. And obviously you're going to need a hood and some gloves and some protective wear um, like a leather jacket or welder's apron. Um, other than that, everything else comes with the MIG. With stick welding, I mentioned the stinger and the ground clamp come with it. The only thing you'll need with that is obviously your gear gear and some welding rod. Now for the TIG process, um, it doesn't come with anything for the TIG process. You have to get a TIG torch, your hoses, a bottle of pure argon, and whether you want to scratch start or pedal, if you want to use a pedal for the TIG, um, you've actually got to install that through the side. You have to take this whole thing apart because way, way down in here where you can't see because it's too dark, uh, you have to install the pedal and wire it up and everything. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and get this thing set up on 110 volt and lay down some beads. Okay, so I've opened up the garage uh, for when I start welding. I'm gonna have this well ventilated uh, for any welding fumes and, and that kind of thing. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and set the machine up for stick welding first because it's gonna be the easiest. Okay, so I got the stick welding process set up. I've got my ground clamp on the negative. I've got my stinger, which holds your electrode or your stick on the positive. I have the machine plugged in, so we're gonna turn this thing on. Okay, so we're at the main menu. As you can see, the different processes We've got MIG steel, MIG steel, flux core. Uh, this is MIG with a spool gun, stick, and TIG. Okay, so I want stick welding. I'm set up for stick welding. I'm gonna press that. Okay, it's saying that no gas is required and I can set up either way, negative, or positive. So I'll click this. Uh, I'm gonna run, I'll run 6010 first. So I'll run the 60XX. My 6010 rod is 332. So I'll click on 332. Now, on the thickness, you're gonna have more options running the 220 volts outlet uh, the plug more options than you would have for the 110 so 
So right now, I can only go up to 10 gauge and go down as far as 18 gauge. I'm gonna just crank it up to the 10 gauge. Click this. Okay, this is gonna be your amps. Once you get the whole machine just set with the information that I put into the machine, the machine sets itself. It'll give you your amps and it shows you that you picked your 32 diameter, 10 gauge, 6 to 10 for stick. You can also adjust your amps with this knob after it sets it for you. So that was 6010. I'm going to try the 7018 real quick and then I'm going to switch over to MIG. Okay, so the 7018 came out really nice. Uh, that stuff underneath, just on the toe of the well, that's part of the 70 or 6010 that I'd ran before. But I am quite happy with that. I'm going to switch over to MIG, and uh, this machine is really supposed to kick butt with the, the MIG process, so I'm excited to get that. So overall, I am completely impressed with uh, my new welder, the PowerMig 210MP. Um, it's a great welder for your home shop, for beginners. Um, you dial in the wire that you're using or the rod that you're using, the material that you're using, and it pretty much sets everything for you. Make process, outstanding. Couple of passes on MIG. 6010 up top here. Uh, it was a little bit rough, and that's just me needing to play around with the settings. 7018 over here came out really, really well. If anybody is thinking about getting a welder, Lincoln is doing a great deal on this machine with a $200 rebate, instant rebate. Uh, I think it comes out to $1,000 or $1,100 now, so I'm excited to get some welding projects done. My first project is going to be a weld cart as soon as I can go get some material for that. Um, yeah, I'm hoping to get that video out soon. So, like I said, if anybody's looking around for a good welder for your home shop, um, I don't know if there's anything else better out better than that I mean, with the multi-process uh, machine where you can do different processes the MIG the stick and the TIG which I have not done yet um, I think I mentioned earlier I still got to get uh, some hose and pure argon I have to get my whole TIG torch set up so That'll be in a future video. I will do the TIG process. I'm excited to try out that TIG. Um, and also keep in mind, I am only doing this off of 110 volt. So out of the box, plug it into a normal home outlet, 110 volts, and this is how it's performing. Uh, I do plan on putting 220 in, but I mean, it's, it's ready to go with 110 volts. So uh, you can't get better, any better than that. So go check it out, Lincoln, Lincoln's website. Um, I still think they're doing the promotion. Um, I jump on it. I don't know how long they're gonna have that deal for. So um, that's it for this um, review on the, the Lincoln uh, Power MIG. So until next time, stay safe.
and it ran beautiful. So I am quite happy, right? What the hell is crap?